Current issue of this journal website is a special issue. While you can understand that only regular issue articles are being indexed right now in 2025, whereas the special issue articles are not indexed so far in Scopus database. In the journal website, when you try to browse through the past issues 2024 2023, there is a mismatch between the total number of articles being published in the journal website and those indexed in the Scopus database. In the contact section, we do not have an affiliation address. We just have one email ID being uh, mentioned in all of the sections. PubMed Central website lists uh, the journal website as the genuine website, whereas this particular journal website uh, gives acceptance within 24 hours and publishes within 10 working days. Sai Imago Journal Rank website, we have had uh, several complaints from researchers that this particular journal is not following the academic integrity. They are accepting hundreds of papers within a day. Hey, Christian channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So once again, I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about a Scopus Index Journal. It is called as Journal of Neonatal Surgery. So in this video, we will try to find out whether this journal is really indexed in the Scopus database, which quartile it comes under, whether we can expect all of the published articles to be indexed in the Scopus database as of now, 2025. We will also try to find out whether this journal is uh, also indexed in the ABDC quartile list, Web of Science database, as well as UGC Care Group 1 or maybe group 2 database. We'll try to find out the article processing charges as quoted in the website, what they are charging for the Saudi national authors and what they are charging through the backdoor, through the agents and through the associations. We got the information that they are giving acceptance within 24 hours, that is within one day and publication within 10 days. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of Journal of Neonatal Surgery. So this is the journal we are talking about. So we are searching for Journal of uh, neonatal surgery we have got the exact search result so we have found out one particular website jneonatalsearch.com we do not have any other websites associated with this particular journal we have sai imago journal rank discussing about this journal we also find this journal information in uh, ncbi.nlm.nih.gov okay so this has been associated with the national institutes of health we can also understand that this journal has been uh, listed in the pubmed central and we can understand that pubmed central is indexing all of the articles of this particular journal website so this is the journal website okay jneonatalsearch.com the issn number has been mentioned so here they have mentioned it as a q3 quartile journal we'll try to cross check this information in the about the journal section okay we can understand that they are primarily publishing articles related to neonatal surgery so when you scroll down they have mentioned the publisher name l med pub publisher when you try to click on this particular link okay it uh, redirects to lmedpub.com.pk which means it is a pakistani domain so here it shows under development when you browse through the current issue okay it shows a special issue and we find relatively good number of articles being published over here we can understand that most of the articles published in this particular special issue are indian author articles So we have a feeling that the publisher of this particular website might be the Indian origin. When you browse through the archive section, we find in 2025 regular issue as well as special issue. Please try to understand that 2025 is the only uh, issue which has a special issue and every year we can find only one issue being published however during 2019 2018 2017 we find four issues being published please understand that uh, instruction to the author section submit manuscript section they are all inactive and they have mentioned the article processing charges to be 700 dollars or approximately like uh, 56,000 in indian rupees as quoted in this particular website Please understand specifically for Saudi Arabia, they are charging $1,000 or approximately 80,000 in Indian rupees. I really don't know why they are charging too much for uh, Saudi Arabian nationals. Maybe they have regarded Saudi Arabia as a high income country. However, when you try to browse over 2024-2023, the total number of articles being published in this particular website 
does not match with those articles being indexed in the Scopus database. In the editorial team section, okay, so they have given the editorial board members, we do not have uh, editor in chief information, okay, however, we find most of the editorial board members are from Iran. Also, their institutional email ID is actually missing. This is actually the primary requirement for getting the ISSN number which they have not followed. So they have also displayed the reviewers list for 2020-2019. Please understand that we are right now in 2025. Uh, we really don't know whether they are still maintaining this reviewers list. In the contact section, we do not have an affiliation address. We do not have a pin code. We do not have a live Google map location showing this is the actual address. We do not have a toll free number or telephone number. We just have one uh, editor email ID being present in the principal contact as well as the support contact. So suppose let us take in the case we have an issue with this particular journal. So the only way uh, to communicate is through the email ID. So with this particular journal website, we have got some information. Anyway, we will try to cross check this information in uh, the Sai Imago journal rank website. So in saiimagojr.com, we have searched for this particular journal. Okay. So here country shows Pakistan. Okay. So H index is just three. So it comes under the medicine category, pediatrics, uh, perinatology and child health as well as surgery. So the same publisher information has been mentioned. Okay. ISSN is the same. Coverage years shows 2020 till 2023. But anyway, we will cross check this information. When you try to click on home page as well as how to publish in this journal, it is pointing to a website link which is actually inactive. However, they are pointing to the first website what we have reviewed earlier. So they have also mentioned the scope of this journal. Okay, please try to understand that with regards to surgery field alone, it comes under Q4. However, with the other fields, it comes under Q3. It doesn't mean that this journal comes under Q3 quartile. Please understand that if you have submitted articles related to surgery, then it comes under Q4. So here they have displayed the two year, three year and five year statistics about this journal. In the comment section, you will get a lot of information. Okay, so the others have mentioned that there is lack of transparency, okay, in the publication policies. Also, there is not much uh, trust uh, with regards to authors. Another one person has mentioned that uh, this particular journal has a uh, hijacked website okay so the current management is not taking any concerns regarding the peer review process although it is a pakistani journal uh, so uh, he has come out with the idea that the management might be from india so with sai imago journal rank website we have got some information anyway with uh, scopus.com we'll try to cross check this information so in scopus.com sources being selected in the title you can search for this journal you can get the exact search result so coverage years shows 2020 till 2024 however here in 2025 we find seven documents being indexed okay so the same issn number same publisher information you can find it over here so how we got these seven documents is that okay with the regular issue we have six documents then some editorial section has been displayed okay so that also got indexed in the uh, scopus database so suppose let us take in the case if you are the editor of a scopus index book which means that the editorial page along with that editor uh, information also will be indexed in the scopus so same way in the journal the editorial section as well as those six papers got indexed in the scopus database however you should try to understand that the special issue articles of 2025 are not indexed in the scopus database as of now however there is a mismatch in the total number of articles being published in the journal website during 2024 and 2023 and the number of documents which got indexed in the scopus database in the site score rank and trend okay so we can understand up to 2023 it comes under the 13th percentile so since it comes under 0 to 25 okay it comes under q4 quartile so whatever information given in the sai imago journal rank website it has been found to be incorrect okay because for these uh, particular fields okay so they have regarded as Q3 quartile. This is completely wrong. About how long will this journal remain in the Scopus database? Of course, it is lying in your hands. Okay. I'm sure that this journal might be removed from the Scopus database very soon. And that is the reason the journal publisher through the agents, through the backdoor, through the uh, associations, they are sending some repeated emails uh, to uh, foreign authors 
especially uh, to Indonesian and Malaysian authors, inviting a uh, bulk quantity of papers for submission. As a responsible researcher, faculty member or a learned scholar, you can raise this concern or maybe complain to the Scopus team. As of now, currently in 2025, we have documents being indexed in the Scopus database. It doesn't mean that this journal will continue for long in the Scopus database. We cannot find the journal information in master journalist, which means that this journal is not indexed in the Web of Science database. We cannot find the journal information in the ABDC quality list as well. In the UGC Care website, we have group one and group two. Currently, this journal comes under the scope of source list it automatically comes under UGC care group 2 however we have a link called uh, list of clone journals we decided to check the ISSN number we are unable to get the search result which means that uh, UGC care website has not identified any cloned or maybe fake website with this particular journal As far as the article processing charges are concerned, in the website, they have quoted it to be $700 or approximately 56000 in Indian rupees. Whereas for the Saudi uh, nationals, they are charging $1000 or approximately 80000 in Indian rupees. But through the backdoor, through the agents, through the associations, they are charging 12000 in Indian rupees for Indian authors and 22000 in Indian rupees for the foreign authors. And they are giving acceptance within 24 hours or one day and publication within 10 days. Please understand that this was originally a Pakistani journal. We have the feeling that uh, the current management is from India. We cannot regard this journal website as a clone website, but we believe that uh, it might be a hijacked website. If you have real concerns or complaints about this particular journal, you can raise them to the Scopus team to re-evaluate this journal. As of today's date, this journal is currently indexed in the Scopus database, therefore indexed in the UGC Care Group 2. However, this journal is not indexed in the Web of Science database and not indexed in the ABDC quality list. So if you have any clarifications, questions, queries, past or maybe negative experience, please share them in the comment section.